you know, moving to our West, uh, Pakistan has been a persistent problem. You know, uh, we've talked about Imran Khan, you've talked about his government multiple times. And then, you know, we've had this election where Mr. Shahbaz Sharif got elected. Uh, lo, behold, you know, meet the new boss, same as the old boss when it comes to the narrative against India and Kashmir. Um, what is your take on, you know, how do we go from here? Because General Bajwa has expressed intent, or at least he's made a statement to say we need to settle our disputes with India. I think, uh, you know, all these are words, and while while General Bajwa has been statesmanlike, but I wouldn't put a lot of, uh, you know, uh, weight as far as all these statements are concerned, because uh, there is a certain national mood in Pakistan. Pakistan has always defined itself as we who are not India. Right. And, uh, and this has been from the day of its creation, 14th of August, 1947. Pakistan has always defined itself as we, Pakistan, who are not India. So, you see, what is the bone of contention here? It is Kashmir. It is terrorism which emanates from Pakistan into Kashmir and hinterland of India. Uh, we can talk about the Akshardham temples, the, the, the parliament attacks 2611. And there are hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of these attacks. I'm just naming a few. Right. The thing, the thing is that the reason for existence of the Pakistan army is India. And they will not allow this, this uh, friction to die down. Because then Pakistan army will have no reason to exist. Right. Uh, you see, uh, I, I just like to point out uh, all these, you know, all these wars. Today, Pakistan says that uh, we need an army, we need nuclear weapons because we are threatened by India. And the fact of the matter is, all these wars were started by 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 Pakistan. And I, this, I'm not saying this is in India. I'm going to quote specific Pakistani uh, generals who have written about it and proudly claimed that uh, you know we wage jihad on India. Now uh, there is one major general, Akbar Khan. Akbar Khan writes a book called uh, called uh, uh, Raiders in Kashmir. And he proudly says that, yes, well, I, I led and directed the Raiders in Kashmir in 1947-48. And hey, I'm the guy who did this. And he writes it in a book. Okay, 1965, we fought a war with Pakistan. Pakistan invaded, the, there was Operation Gibraltar. General Ayub Khan was, was, was the army chief plus the president of Pakistan. And you should read his book, Friends Not Masters. Read, read the Pakistani army archives and chronicles, how they invaded, because they assumed falsely that uh, when they invaded India, uh, Kashmiri Muslims would rise in revolt and support the Pakistanis. That never happened. No, no Kashmiri Muslim has ever, you know, supported, uh, supported uh, the Pakistan army whenever it, it tried to attack India. It's, it's, it, it hasn't happened in 75 years. Not one person did it. To the surprise of the Pakistani establishment, because there are things that they assume right. that this is going to happen. And they base their war plans on these false assumptions. Now, look at uh, 1971. Pakistan launches Operation Changez Khan. And when it launches Changez Khan, it attacks 11 Indian airfields and India responds. And within 13 days, Bangladesh is created. Look at 1999. I draw your attention to Gen General Parvez Musharraf's book called In the Line of Fire in which he proudly claims that I send my boys across the line of control in Indian territory. I mean, here are Pakistani generals who in their autobiography are saying that, yes, hey, we are the best because we attacked India. Right. And yet Pakistanis play the victim cards. I, 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 I don't think they've developed the habit of reading. They don't read very much, I think. They should read their own generals, what their own generals have written in their books. And uh, so this is, this is a constant narrative. This is a constant narrative coming out of Pakistan. And uh, I, I don't think this, this, this uh, problem is going to be settled anytime soon unless we take the initiative and the Indian army marches into POK. This, this wound will fester for a very long time. I think the Indian army strolls into, strolls into the 14 and 15 core and even, even the 16 core, 14 core being uh, Ladakh, uh, 15 core Kashmir Valley, 16 core south of Pir Panjal. Uh, that entire Jammu region, Jammu region yeah. from Punch, Punch, Punch to Jammu, that entire belt, unless we march in and we take it, or there is some diplomatic, uh, you know, blitzkrieg, this, this wound will continue to fester because the rhetoric has been raised to such a level 
in 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 pakistan today that uh, you know they don't worry about pakistan so much as they worry about kashmir right had they worried about had they worried about pakistan it wouldn't have been in such a mess please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit cittti.net dhanyawad namaskar